What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Doom. Today, I'm coming at you with my review of the brand new Demon Slayer movie, Mugen Train. Start this off, man. I just got to get a, a give a standing ovation real quick. A standing ovation, please. Please, a standing ovation for that boy, Kojiro Rengoku. Man, that dude did his thing in this movie. It's one of the Hashiras. I already knew he's gonna come in on some, you know, it's gonna be the fight was gonna be amped up, you know, he was gonna be basically the same OP. But that was that wasn't the case towards the end, but we'll get to that later on. But yeah, this dude definitely probably easily one of my favorite characters in Demon Slayer so far. And yeah, and he uh he really gets down to business. He really does like like I guess this movie did a good job of showing like the difference in not only like strength. Between, like, you know, like, Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenetsu. You know, like, the, you know, basically, like, the apprentice demon slayers, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess they are full-fledged demon slayers now, but you know what I mean. Like, kind of kind of like the, the Robin level, you know, the sidekick demon slayer. There you go, sidekick. Yeah. So, it did a good job of showing, like, not only, like, the strength difference, but also, like, the, just the, what's the word? Not mentality, so to speak, but like re resiliency. There you go. Like how much more resilient the Hashiras are to like the demon, like de the demons that they face. Because, because probably I, I, I'll t I'll tell you this: the demon at the end of the movie, the like the ball, so to speak, at the end of the movie. If Tanjiro was to face him, he would get clapped easily. I'm not probably not easily. I don't want to disrespect Tanjiro, but. He 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 would have most definitely like it wouldn't even have been a contest pretty much, but yeah. So going going into that, I'm gonna start at the beginning. Um, so basically the gist of the movie is that people are disappearing from the train, and it's an it's a I think it's over forty people that disappear off the same train or whatever, and so they're like the uh, Demon Slayer Court. Of, they basically send Tanjiro's and Netsu Inos uh, in, uh, Inosuke. They send them to back up. Uh, Kojiro, the flame hashir, he is the flame hashir, and he, they send them to back him up, and so yeah, they get there, you know, they start doing the thing, whatever, and they finally, um, they finally, the the demon that's like over it, over the train or whatever, finally makes his move, and his power is like to put, he's like the dream, uh, his power is like put people to sleep, and like, like uh, basically killing them in the dreams, kind of almost a Freddy Krueger shit, so yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so he come he uh uh gets them to asleep or whatever, and then this dope scene, this dope scene happens, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil. It, it has to do with uh Kojiro. Dope scene happens. I'm not gonna get into it. Yeah, I do. You need this, this is the movie you need to go see. Go see the movie. A hundred percent. Go see the movie. So yeah, um, and then we skip forward a little bit, and things start. You know, things start to get out of control. The, the 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 demon uh I forgot his name but the dude that has the uh, the demon powers with the dreams or whatever causes people to fall asleep and all that he levels up and you actually come to find out that uh he is the actual train himself that 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 is kind of that was kind of wild I I'll be honest that was kind of wild but yeah so anyway uh they move on whatever and then. And then I'm not gonna talk. I'm not even gonna talk about the last, the third act of the movie. I can't do that because th th that'll be uh, just spoilers on part of spoilers. Just know that, um, that uh, another demon does show up, and like, and I will say this: the final fight in this of this movie is one of the is hands down. I don't know if it's the best fight in Demon Slayer so far, you know, but. It's hands down top three fights in Demon Slayer easily. Like it's not even close. Actually, I'll give it best fight. I'll, I'll give it best fight to me. To me, is the it's the best fight in Demon Slayer, and it's only because of how how the fight went down. It was it was less it was less ability based. Well, no, it, it had a, no. It was it was I don't know. It was more of a battle of will, and like the, any fight is like a battle of will is pretty much a good fight regardless of like how it goes or how it plays out. But yeah, so uh, that's it. My verdict, my verdict of this movie is that everybody needs to go watch it. You know, even if you got, you know, you got the friend that's like not into anime, doesn't re really could give, uh, re really couldn't uh, care less or whatever. 
Tatum, go watch it, man. It's a good, it's a good movie in general. Like if they can get past, oh, it's anime. Oh, I don't want to watch anime. Anime, ugh. you know all that. It's a good movie, man. They'll enjoy it. But yeah, I think this is. It's a very well structured. The pacing, pacing is very is done really well, and they give you, um, they give you enough background about the um about coach uh Kojiro, the the flamer sure they give they give you enough uh background of him without basically making it seem like it's his movie you know what i'm saying because make no mistake even though this dude does go off we still we we still get our little spotlight on um nezuko and zanetsu and of course our boy tanjiro in um and uh what's his name? You know what I'm talking about. I already said his name. The the beast, the, the beast breathing dude, whatever his name is. Inosuke, there you go. Hey, Inosuke. I could not think of that right there for for anything. But yeah, it, it does a good job of of uh sharing the spotlight, you know, like giving people giving uh certain people the spotlight. But yeah, I am I will say this though. This probably needs to be done in um more anime where they like they do an arc or whatever with the you know the the season and then they whatever the next thing is they make that a movie you know what i'm saying like that like this could this could lead to some stuff man because as you see ever since uh dragon ball super broly anime movies have been going crazy so <laughs> like i'm like i'm serious like this is a thing i'm all here for it i hope to see more demon slay movies in the future man the animation always on point, always gets God tier animation, bro. Like, I'm, 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 Demon Slayer could very easily become uh, a top anime for me. So I don't know about y'all, but yeah. Anyway, uh, go check the movie out. Let me know what, how you guys thought it was. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Until next time.